Good evening, everyone. So I figured I would show you the latest on the Corrado touchscreen interface. So I got this hooked up to Pick Micro. It's buried in the mess of wires. Got the Picket 3. Got some code. Got the IRC. And I've been busy. There's a, there's a preview of what's going on. All right, let's fire this puppy up. Also, I'm looking at some of these ones that ship from China. What's this? You must enter a code to continue. So I gotta enter the secret code, and then I have to touch in the super secret place, and up and running. So here the, the heater controls function all the same as they did before. And you notice there's no more screen garble. Got that taken care of. It was very tricky to get taken care of, but it works now. So all these buttons function as they did the last time, except this one has more options. And right here, this is the spoiler adjustment screen. So you'll be able to tap on this and actually adjust the spoiler settings like what speed it deploys, what speed it retracts, stuff like that. This one's a mirror icon, so that's the mirror screen, which I haven't decided completely if I'm going to do settings for or not because I still do have a mirror switch uh, in my door to control the mirrors with. But I might want to get rid of that. The problem with that is I would have to reupholster the entire interior. The door panels are pretty minty fresh, so don't know about that one. And then we have the speaker icon, which will basically be mute and unmute. Now the thing is, these won't actually be buried in this settings menu. There's going to be two of these displays side by side. A third one also in the center stack of the dash that's going to be turned vertically and kind of up and off to the side and then there's going to be another one where the headlight switch goes so these icons pretty much all of these icons I should say will be one touch access so you'll see these icons as they are on the right side and then at the very least you'll see the mute the turbo settings and probably the spoiler icon as the top row on the left side and then there will be probably three more icons along the top and then I have this whole large area in the middle of the screen to do what I want with. One of the settings screens that I did get done is turbo boost settings. So depending on what mode, uh, street or race mode, this will actually be automatically selected depending on that mode which I need to finish working on. Or you can set which boost setting you want to change just by tapping anywhere on this area of the screen and then you have your up and you have your down and then I can just tap anywhere on the screen and I have up and I have down so that all works like it's supposed to it's hard to touch the screen out. It's not mounted to something. It does take a... you have to want to press the button for the button to detect that it was pressed. So that's why it's like that. That's why I have to hold the screen with my finger and touch it. You can't just very lightly touch it, which I like. It's a resistive touch screen, so I believe it'll work with pretty much anything you touch it with. Yeah. So even if you have gloves on or something like that, it'll still work just fine. I love the way this display looks. It's nice to fully realize what the final thing's going to look like. It's more orange than what I'm seeing it on the camera as. Um, I'll have to go back and check that after the video is uploaded. But yeah, that's, that's the progress. All of these icons I've been designing in paint. So they're all bitmap icons, and that's 
been quite interesting. I've been learning a lot with this and I can't in claim that I wrote the code in its entirety. I've had a lot of help from someone in the IRC. Thank you, Kevin. Uh, he was the one that got the, the Flickr figured out. And what's really cool is I'm not... My C Kung Fu is not as advanced as his is by a long shot. And the cool thing is, is I will try to do something and a lot of times I succeed and a lot of times I fail but I try it and then I give him the code and we go through it together and he shows me what I did wrong or let's say I do successfully do something because he's so much more advanced he can do something a lot more efficiently and so it's really cool to go back and learn a new efficient way more efficient way to do something in code than I had previously. And this code will be available on my website when it's done and cleaned up a little bit. It's kind of a mess because they've been commenting out some things and some other things need documented and whatnot. But you can join in the Hangout and the IRC when this is going on. I've been working on this with the live stream on for the last few days. And so whenever I'm working on something like this, I try to be on the live stream. And this allows you to follow along, and if you have questions or you have suggestions, I am open to listen to those. And so you can get in the chat room, or um, you can even get in the Hangout and talk to me uh, visually and over audio. So if you're interested in watching me while I develop this, and what others have to share as well, you can go to doogielabs.com and click on the welcome button, welcome to Doogie Labs, and there should be a live stream player right there on the page where you can come in and check out what's going on. And I highly recommend it. People that join up have a lot of fun. So this is the latest iteration of the touchscreen user interface. It's coming along quite nicely. I am almost ready to design a circuit board that sticks two of these side by side, which will be a closer representation of how it's going to be when it's in the car. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed, and stay tuned for more.